Hello from the Philippines. So yesterday's info was a bit of a bust really. Nothing's transpired. So in my opinion, I can't trust any of what I heard. And I apologize for being too quick to post information that I now believe was not accurate. Maybe it will prove that it was, but as far as I'm concerned, it wasn't. I don't know. My wife later on today is going to have a group chat. Um, that's with um, top police officials that belong to her uh, fraternity and also one of her relatives is a high up police officer in the area that he was abducted from however whatever she hears I will keep to myself whether it be correct info, whether it be we've still heard nothing and we're still looking, I would just keep all that to myself. There's no point trying to be clever. I mean, I wasn't trying to be clever. But maybe I was by posting so quickly. This time I've learnt my lesson and like I say, whatever I hear, even if it turns out to be totally correct, it's for my ears only. All I can say is, to reiterate from yesterday, I hope that he is found safe. Though I'm guessing the longer he's not been found, well, you know the rest. So, today's another day. Yesterday on my videos, I kept saying the day was Wednesday. Completely wrong. Sometimes the days just merge into each other. Of course, yesterday was Tuesday. I think I was so quick to post those damn videos. I even forgot what day it was. I was convinced it was Wednesday. Well, today is Wednesday. You know, when you make videos, I'm guessing in any niche, any topic, not just the Philippine vlogger topics, but you know, it's like a balancing act between good content, but also interesting content. You know, I could talk about the earth here and I could touch it and roll it in my fingers and say, oh, it feels much drier than the mud, than the earth in the UK, and go on about that for 10 minutes. Would anybody really be interested? Sure, I could do a video of me planting a tree and whatnot. Some people might be interested, a lot wouldn't. So yeah, there's this balancing act that's very difficult is an art almost to get right between making an entertaining, interesting video, but getting it right. And yesterday was a great example of getting it wrong. Maybe I didn't get it wrong, but I think I did. You know, there are just so many videos you can do about budgeting and how to meet a Filipina. Sure, you get new viewers the whole time that have never watched videos that I've made on how to meet a Filipina, the warning signs, but you know, there's got to be more to making interesting videos in the Philippines than that. Now, some vloggers, they show their girlfriends or wives in their 
vlogs and that becomes an interest for maybe people watching or they show their family quite often or their day-to-day -day life when they're going out and yes I, I concur that can be interesting because you don't just see them the expat you see their family I don't choose to do that I have shown my wife stroke fiance briefly when I've done videos before very briefly a couple of thumbnails of her I've shown my son very briefly if I've been doing a video I used to show quite a few videos of me out and about but they didn't garner that much interest and because of the area that I live in you know I'm not out every day every night it wouldn't be prudent to be out night times well you can but not on my own so I'm a little bit limited and that's where I'm at really and that's why a while ago I stopped posting and I started just posting my songs you know the ones in Hindi and the Punjabi ones it was easier I never, the people, um, the viewers, it wasn't you guys really that were watching, maybe a few, maybe a few people. It's mostly an Indian audience, Pakistani audience, Brazilian audience, Russian audience even. But I didn't have to think of what to say. They didn't comment. I got no comments hardly. From those songs I mean there is something nice about interacting with your audience but as I say I run out of things to say you know how many times can I show you all this you see what I mean I'm just showing some visuals boring yes boring but there's no way after the videos I posted yesterday that I can do a video today well these are some more red warning signs flags when you're gonna meet a Philipp I couldn't be doing that and as I said any other info I do here and I'll know the info to believe this time because it'd be from my wife and from the people she's connected to and it'd probably be boring info no we've not heard anything yet I'm guessing I don't know or we have an idea where he is or we don't think he's still alive. I don't know but any of that I will keep to myself and if it proves to be true I'm not going to come on here and say I knew all along because that's just uh, bullshit. Who's going to believe that? So as one of my um, viewers commented, I'm going to have to return my Pulitzer Prize and he's correct. Well, I'm going to end this video pretty soon and get back to my day-to-day -day life. And if I hear anything else about Elliot Eastman, I will keep it to myself. Because once you start putting loads of videos out there on things that you cannot prove, you become a bullshitter. I'm afraid and people lose respect now I'm not saying everybody has respect for me 
But that's what happens, I would. But you've got to learn from your mistakes. And hopefully I have. I will keep my big mouth shut. That's all.